even though we're going to leave the signs up, we're not going to enforce it. Every store coming up with their own policies, though, as tomorrow, COVID-19 restrictions across Ohio will be lifted. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Alexis Walters. Mask mandates and social distancing will be soon a thing of the past in many places across the area. But some businesses wonder if they all have enough workers to handle the change. First News Senior Reporter Jerry Ricciuti has more. Starting Wednesday, many of the restrictions imposed at the start of the pandemic more than a year ago will be lifted in Ohio, but you may not see that much of a change from one day to the next. I personally don't think that things are going to be drastically different a lot of places right away. There will be some, like the Schwabel Baking Company's plant, where restrictions will remain in place, even though the state won't be requiring them. We're still going to try to do social distancing, and, and for the time being, we're still going to be wearing masks in, in the facility. Everyone's going to have a different level of uh, being comfortable, so it's going to be up to the customer to uh, reach that level. But even as business owners try to move a step or two closer to returning to normal, they end up falling a step or two back because they can't find enough people to work. Recently, Schwabels parked this trailer across from its plant on Midlothian, advertising bonuses for new employees. But Beamer tells me the company still needs to hire 50 more people. When we're competing with uh, unemployment and extended unemployment, and when, when our biggest competition for people is the government, it makes it very difficult. Across the area, signs like this are everywhere, offering flexible hours and benefits. Even fast food restaurants are offering $100 signing bonuses. Rovnak says he's been forced to close his bakery three days a week until he finds another half dozen workers. And it does not matter what these jobs are paying. It doesn't matter what kind of incentives you're giving people. It is not helping. Rovnak and others wonder if the situation will change after those extra unemployment benefits are cut off at the end of this month. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.